Greetings and welcome back to Train Mechanics Simulator 2017. Okay, we are now on our next job order. The main railway station informed us that a locomotive pulling passenger cars has not arrived on time. Check what happened. Okay, so we are going to look at our work order, which is on M. There we go. And so we're going to find the derailed train near the coast, square E4. So let's go out and go out on the town with this one. Yes, we shall leave the safety of the garage to go into the wide world. That's so cool. I have these kind of, um, the Union Pacific trains with those, uh, the flags on the side rolling past my house daily. I love trains. They're so cool. So let's check where is square E4. So right over here. So it's actually quite close, probably in this area, maybe up by these uh, junctions though. So let's just check it out. We shall go there. Don't want to go too fast. I love the, uh, the scenery here. It's really cool. It looks really awesome. The trains look really, really nice. Very beautiful graphics. And I love those little houses. They're like um, sort of Scandinavian style, what you might call like old Viking type houses um, built of wood and stuff. I don't know if they, they still have, I would imagine they are maybe in historical recre recreations there. Um, but I think, um, anyway, we are going along. This is square E4, I believe. There's a D passing by. We are in four. So hopefully this train is here somewhere. We'll just go around the coast here. Look at those windmills so beautifully made. And we've got some palm trees on the coast. Getting in our wind power. And the music for this game is great too. I love to play this game. It's very, very chill, very relaxed. A lot of fun. Uh, so far, I you know I didn't think I would like this kind of game. I just thought eh, I don't know, maybe okay. But I really am having uh, a very enjoyable time. Okay, so looks like something happened here. This is our square we need to be in, or area we need to be in. And we are entering the green mist of magicalness. Boom. Good. Do we need to stop or what? What's going on? Oh my God! <gasps> whoa! 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 whoa. Train, you're going the wrong way. I should have I should have put on the brakes. Wow, it is totally off to the side. <gasps> oh, that's brakes, brakes, brakes. Okay, we need to go into wait, do we need to back up? Because now I'm not getting that thing when I mouse over the train. Go X. Can we go X? No. Okay, maybe my whole engine needs to be in the magical green mist. There we go. X. We shall go, oh, look at this. How do I, okay. The boom is WS. Oh, hello. <gasps> oh, this is very cool. All right. Um, height is Q and E. Let's raise this thing up a bit. I'm gonna need to rotate it. That's A and D. Whoa. <gasps> this is so cool. And I love the way it handles too. It feels very, very heavy. Very, very cool. All right, so S, go this way. So line, that is brackets, aha. Okay, can we attach the hook C? No. Uh, how do we, oh wait, we can. Um, maybe I should grip it by the top. So let's unattach the hook. Can I, can I move it? Nope, nope, C, can I, please? Aha, okay, so let's get the line retracted a bit. And I want to put it down sort of nearer the top. Oops, can I press C there? Oh, there we go. Let's rotate, put the boom up. No, not that way. Height, Q, E. Oh, the other way, the other E. Okay, so we are here. Let's get a greater height. Uh, or not. Or no. Maybe pull in the line. 
Whoa, okay. Okay, let's get the boom coming this way. Aha! Oh, okay. I'm kind of confused about how to put this on the track. Oh, maybe we just, uh, see. There we go. This way? Like this? Um. Mm. <laughs> this is not really what I think I should be doing at the moment. Because I see the shadow on the ground. I'm going to just try turning it this way. <laughs> I'm sure the rail union would be quite upset about this. Height. Can I cue this or E this? There we go. Nope, it won't go any higher than that. Alright, maybe I'll just... just... Oh, rotate the object. Aha! That's what I want to do. There we go. We can rotate the object like this. Nice. Now I just need to move this to the side. Okay, line up. Oh, that's the wrong line up. That was not upping this. Uh, come on. Am I holding the wrong rotate? Yeah, there we go. Um, okay. Can we go up? Other rotation, come on, come on. Q and E is height. Can go upward just very, very, very barely. Come on. I can't go up any higher. I feel like, um, or I could go this way. Okay, that seems to be a little bit better. This seems a little bit tricky, I have to say. Let's go with the height. Where's that? E? Q? Come on! That's up. This is down. I feel like it's not working because my crane is in the way of the thing. What if I dropped it there? Bouncing is very bizarre. Come on, come on. Go where I want you to go. Can I disattach this? No. Alright, height. Let's go try to put it down. Nope, that didn't that clearly did not work. What do we need to do is get the line down. Going up here, line down. There we go. Maybe we'll be able to rotate it better this way. Nope, but the nose will not go under the the thing. Okay, line down some more. Let's try this. These are the rotation thingies. Okay, we're getting a little bit better, I feel. Slightly. Line down. of this thing is in the wrong wrong spot well can I do it this way and then sort of drag it across no mm -mm. unless I have to just move it way further aha 
Oh, 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 that looks like I have clearance space. Oh my god, finally. Maybe. Okay, put it sideways. Man, this is tricky. Okay. Drop the line. Yes! <gasps> wow! That was interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's look at our route back. Looks like most of it is already planned. Just a couple of signals uh, at nearer the station here. We'll just switch that one there just to go back to the diesel engine depot. Okay, great. We've survived. We got the train back on the tracks. This is good. Alright, whoops. Oh, there's a truck out there. How nice. Sound is so good. Meow. Got some more windmills. Okay, there we go. Probably going way too fast for these turns, but that's okay. I'm not that bothered. Okay, so switch to the diesel engine depot. We're gonna switch there. I think that's right. Yep. And we're just going to make our way back to the depot where we can fix this thing and, and see if any parts are broken or what's going to go on with this. Because, I mean, if the thing flipped off the track, who knows what's going on. Here we go. Just kind of turning around. Oh, we're going to go by the little sort of historical village over here. Yay! Very cool, these houses. And I love the way the sunlight like shines on the paint of the uh, the vehicles. It's really cool looking. Very, very cool. Get a little bit of steam coming out here. Exhaust. Good stuff. And here we are, back home. All right, the damaged vehicles has been restored properly and towed into the workshop. So let's go to the repair. here see how we can help this little train get back on track. Oh, it's orange today. How oh, nice. Okay, it appears that the problem is damaged engine mountings in both trucks. Okay, so our task income is 500. So let's go and check these things out. Um, ooh, okay, that looks engine mounting. I'm told that I can go into C condition mode and test things. Uh, maybe. Okay, I have to get out of disassembly mode. We'll go to C. I kind of wish that you could test them in disassembly mode. Really thing? Can I not? Ah. Uh, I could have sworn there was a way to do this. Oh, three is testing mode. Okay. All right. No worries. There we go. And then we get a little circle and we can see what exactly is damaged. So those are, but this thing is fine. It is green. Wheels, how you doing? You're doing fine. Okay. So let's disassemble this thing. Get these out. We need to get these out first. Looks like it. And you can click and hold these guys to get them out. There certainly are a lot of them. Oh, okay. Wow, there are a lot of screws there, but I imagine that's because those bits need to stay on pretty darn well. We might be in trouble if they came loose very quickly. Okay. I am very tempted to get that wrench upgrade after this, I have to say. Oh my god, more screws! <laughs> there are so many! Jeez. It's okay, we got some good tunes to chill to, right? It's all good. Nice. Okay, so... This also is looking quite battered. Let's see if I can test this. That's fine. No, that's fine. Okay. So, that's just, that's just good. Uh, but this thing needs to go. So let's take this one off. Ah, this one doesn't have those extra brackets at the back. Mm, 
Nice. Okay, and we got it now. Let's get out of here and go to the back of the train to get the, or the back of the locomotive, I should say. And it looks like these things are still the culprits. They have this kind of rusty look to them. Which I think the game it's the game's way of telling me, hey, you should look at this. It's getting into disrepair. Even though rust is not the primary problem, of course. Okay, there are so many screws on this thing, I have to say. Many, many screws. Okay, we are gonna get this. Oh, yes. Oh, we can just chill, listen to the music, have a nice time. Enjoy the afternoon. Though, I feel like we would have a professional sort of power tool to do this if we were doing this and on our own instead of just a simple hand wrench. That's why it's taking so long, you can tell. All right, now that we're done unscrewing stuff, I think this is sounding like a mechanical part. So let's see. Yes, we have stuff going on here. Wow, the brackets in some of these are really, really low. Okay, let's just start repairing everything since we have 100% chance on it. Repair these. Some mounting brackets are also very, very poor looking. Okay, repair this. Wow, this is costing a lot of money to, to repair this. Okay. So I can repair these as well. Why not? Make the customer happy. They might give us a bonus. It doesn't cost as much to repair them. Okay, great. So let's go back and reinstall these things. Okay, so we're gonna go to installation mode. There we go, engine mounting. Does it matter which one? Probably not, they all look the same to me in that menu anyway. That has a very satisfying click into place, doesn't it? Okay, gotta put these guys back in. Are these, these are all the same, it appears. Engine mounting brackets, they do sound quite important. I imagine they uh, connect the engine to stuff, or stuff to the engine, either way. Oh no, there's electric motor mounting brackets, yeah. Okay, so like these. Click them in. Okay, excellent. So that's all done. Let's just put this one back in as well. And the other option, of course, is to become like an octopus and have a sort of um, a, uh, a what you would call it, like a electrical screwdriver or a um, sort of one of those bolt things. I forget what the heck they're called. I have several in my house, but um, yeah, they, they basically screw stuff in if you have the right fittings for them. But you could be an octopus with a, a sort of power screwdriver in each hand and this would get done in absolutely no time. That would be fantastic. Okay, so that looks like it's done. So select this one, shove that in. Then of course this one also has those mounting bracket thingies too. We'll get them all in. We must get them all in. There we go. Put that one there. And it won't even let me select the next one until it's like, okay, nope, you must screw in all the things first. Let me just move this camera slightly. There we go. A little bit better. So they're trying to trick me. They're saying, aha, look at this thing. It also has rusty looking stuff on it.
cool. We are almost done. I hope we'll get a decent bonus for all this work. Okay, great. So let us check out the M. Yes. Got everything sorted. Wow, $2,000. Yes, we'll take it. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, and here the train is going out. Boom. So I'm going to buy something good. I'm going to buy something really nice with this money. Let's check out our tablet and see about improving the workshop. Screw gun. Uh, guess what? <laughs> I'm going to buy one of those. Uh, right. And hydraulics, mechanics, and electrical. Hmm. I can only buy one more upgrade. Let's get... Well, I feel like they probably want you to buy them all, like, together. So that's what I'll do with that. But we should be able to unscrew the screws a lot faster. So anyway, we repaired another locomotive. Woohoo! So thank you so very much for joining me. And uh, take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.